Yo, one, two, one, two. Yes, yes. It's definitely about that time. You know what I'm saying? First of all, I'm going to shout out. Free smoke, no gas. We already know my man be in the building. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, my man. I know you here. Yo, today, today, we back to business, you know? We got a very special guest today, you know what I'm saying? We have Miss Mary Lawrence. She's going to come in and talk to us today about a couple things, some finances, some insurance, some real estate, some good stuff. So instead of holding her up, I'm going to just bring her on in, man, you know? Hello, hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, you might have to turn you up. You might have to be a little louder. Um, Say something. What about now? Say something again. That's better. Yes, yeah, a little better. We can handle that. We can handle that from there. We know you will get a little louder as you go. Right. Right. So um, introduce yourself and how long you've been doing what you're doing. Well, I am Mary Lawrence. I am a real estate, I've been in real estate for about eight years now and have been in the financial service industry for a little over two and a half years. Okay. Oh, man. I need you a little louder. Let me see something. Let me see something. Let me see something. Speak. Can you hear me now? Speak. Say something. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Is that good? Is that better? Yeah, I'm turning me down. Turning you up. Go ahead. Say it again. Can you hear me better? Yeah, I can hear you. But I turned me down too much. There I go. All, All right. right. You good? Yeah, you sound a little down, but I can work with it. I can fix you up. I can fix you up. Okay. So you say you've been, huh? So you say you've I been doing open. this eight years, the real estate part? Yep, I've been a real estate agent for eight years. Okay. And nice. the financial service industry for two and a half. Hello. Okay. You got two things going because I can hear you echoing in there off yourself. Nope. Oh, okay. All right. I got a question as far as the real estate. Uh huh. I'm going to start over there. We're going to get this out the way. You know what I'm saying? Because okay. we know we need a lot of people to start getting financially strong and having something that they could pass on and having something of their own that they could stand on. Right. You know, and um, just a quick question. Is it better... To be a homeowner or a rental, renter. The reason I ask that is because some people feel safer renting because they don't have to deal with maintenance costs and things like that when something breaks. Well, in my opinion, it's better to be a homeowner because one, your rent is going to be extremely high so the difference in the cost of having a rent and a mortgage you can save that money towards repairs and being a renter in my opinion is too close to homelessness because if the landlord decides to sell the house and wants you to move that's what you have to do and then you have to find somewhere else to stay which is not easy to do 
currently in this market. Okay. All right. Nice answer. <laughs> do you help with just um do you help with just home owner or do you help with investment properties or both? I do both. I'm also a property manager, so um I manage homeowners properties as well. All right. So if I was to buy a um an investment property, should I buy a fixer upper or something that's already functioning? Well, that's gonna tend, depend on a couple things. If you have a team to go in and be able to fix it up, then yes, you can go that route. But if you don't have a team, you're gonna probably need something that's gonna help you build um, up enough money, uh, capital, to be able to repair the property. Oh, okay. Because I know a lot of people be going down to the auction, they be buying something and fixing it up. But they do. And I, I'm i like you, I'd rather get something that's already functioning because a lot of people run down there and then they run into the fact that they be needing somebody that's going to repair the house to be certified which they don't be knowing. They thinking they could go get uncle so-and-so and and this, all of that, and they not certified and that's not going to fly when it's time to fix that place. Right. Because if you don't have the proper permits on file, then you can't really discuss those repairs when you list in the property. So. Oh, wow. it, It brings the property value back down. I didn't know that. Didn't know that. Yeah, sometimes you'll see a list and it says only permit that's listed on um that's on file will be provided. And that's because some repairs have been done without a permit. Mm. Mm. That's good to know. That's good to know. Ah. Okay, um, what's the steps that I have to take? Okay, let's just say I never owned a home and I want one. So, um, do you walk the people through some people through, or you got or you wait to come in when they're ready? No, I walk people through the process, um, especially being in the financial service industry. I definitely help people walk through that um, part as well because it's more than getting a, um, reaching a certain credit score and finding the house. There's a lot more to that. So I do help, definitely help walk people through that process. So the first step is knowing what your credit score is, what's on your credit, and your debt to income ratio. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I've been through one of the um, programs before. That's how I bought my house. And we went through that step. But if you don't go through the housing program because they help you with the, um, the what's his name at the end, the closing costs and stuff. So if you don't go through that and you you get your um, credit score and your debt to re- in our income, ratio um when you when you start looking at houses and you looking at the you got to look at the price of house that you want so you will know the percent you need to save um so the best thing to do is get pre-approved <laughs> um so you can know what the bank is going to actually allow you to purchase and then you want to look at houses right now in this market that's listed on well you want to know how much you want to pay monthly on a monthly mortgage so you want to look at houses that's not going to go past that amount including the property tax and the insurance okay and And right now they're paying 30 to 40 
thousand dollars over asking. So say that repeat that again. I said right now houses are going for over for thirty to forty thousand, even higher, asking. And they have cash. So save your money. <laughs> oh, okay. Man. Man. You know, everything went up so high lately in the last four years, you know? Mm -hmm. I ain't going to blame nobody specifically, but <laughs> I know everything went up. Even my mortgage <laughs> went up. Everything mm -hmm. went crazy. And I got a fixed yeah. rate. Yeah. Speaking of that, speaking of that, is it better to get a fixed rate or... um? a rate that could fluctuate with the market? Well, it, is, it really depends on the person, I guess. For me, I want a fixed rate because I will not want my mortgage to depend on what the market is doing. Because as you can see, the market is not where we want it to be, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Luckily, I had a fixed rate and it still went up like 100 and something. Well, so I can only crazy. imagine if it wasn't fixed, how it would jump. Well, your mortgage went up a hundred or something because of your property taxes went up. Right. It, it's not your interest rate; it's the property taxes. Not just saying with anything that went up, I can imagine how that mm -hmm. went up. Mm -hmm. You know, so why the property well, tax went up? Because they're paying thirty to forty to. So much over asking for these houses yeah and that's mm. because there's a lot more buyers than they are sellers mm. so you Didn't have know 20, that. To 20 to 25 people putting an offer in on one house i didn't know that mm -hmm. i thought in this climate it'd be the opposite well no if they're paying if this the house over here went for a hundred and fifty thousand, but their house say its value at eighty thousand. Your value is going to go up because of the house sold for a couple houses on your street sold for a hundred and fifty. I could take that. I might have to sell it and move out. Well, then you're going to be in, in the market, <laughs> in the market where everybody else. So even though it's a good time to sell, you probably double your money. You're going to spend it back because you got to pay for it when you buy no place to live. Right, right. Unless, unless you're going into an investment property. Uh-huh. I'll do that. Sell my house, right? Buy an investment house. I'm an investment property with uh three units and live in one and rent out the other two. That's how most only, group, most huh? landlords got started. That's how most por portfolios got started. That is? Oh, okay. I don't know how long I'll last with that. <laughs> you only I, don't like, four years. I, I don't like dealing with people too long. <laughs> Just do a property manager and they don't even got to know you the owner. Oh. Uh, no, I don't, I don't like people. <laughs> oh, right. living next to people. Yeah, I don't like yeah, people. I, I can relate. Right. Not not that I don't like people. I don't like living. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So um you do investments too, right? Before wait, I got a surprise. Mm -hmm. I heard of a rule of 72. What is the rule of 72? The rule of 72, we call it the banker's rule, is when you divide your interest rate into 72 to find the approximate number of years it's going to take your money to double. Oh. So most people are going to take their money and put it in where? The bank, right? The, mm -hmm. the bank gives you, let's say, 3% rate of return. You put your, let's say, $10,000 in the bank and it's going to grow. It's going to take 24 years to double. So after 48 years, that $10,000 has grown to, to $20,000. Mm. 
Wait, 40, how long? 48 years. Mm-mm. That ain't that ain't working. That's because it's three percent. But the bank <laughs> is gonna take your deposit, your savings, and put it in something that's gonna give them a nine or twelve percent. Right. And then give you the difference. Hmm. So, what should I invest in? Just to let me take that same ten that I got. That the bank was gonna take forty years to give me another ten. What should I invest in that'll be a little faster than that? A mutual fund. Hmm. What's the rate on the mutual fund? It changes. It fluctuates with the market, but it's definitely higher than the bank. Okay. So what's the mutual yeah. fund? One of them, uh, when you invest in like a AP 500 or something, one of the people that own mul- the, uh, the ones that own multiple companies. So let's say you got, let's say you got a, three elevators, right? Mm-hmm. And the, the bank has one court taking it up, right? And let's say the next elevator is a CD and it has maybe five courts taking it up. And the mutual fund has about a hundred cores taking it up. Which one you want to put your money in? Mm. <laughs> I think that hundred cores would be a little faster. <laughs> right. And right. in order for you to lose all your money, all of those cores got to break at the same time. Right. When the bank could just go under. Yeah. And the CD, but it, your the, money ain't really going nowhere. So, in the right, bank. you're still it on the good. first floor with the with the bank. <laughs> right. Okay. So, so, the mutual funds. I'm gonna have to put something in there. Do you? What's the? Where should somebody start? Let's just say you got somebody like forty something years old. They never had the four hundred one k and all that other stuff and you know they're gonna retire like 20 years we're gonna give them 46 they'll be out of there by 65. you got 20 years huh retirement is not an age i'm talking about if they never put no money away right how can they be prepared to sit down in the next 10 to 15 years if they want to they have to sit down with a financial advisor a licensed financial advisor and come up with a plan we need some plans right now at least a glimpse we can't give you a, i can't give you an individual plan because like i said retirement not an age it's a number it's a financial independence number and you need somebody to help you determine how to come up with that i can do that but we have to sit down and come up with that individually because i don't know what you got what you don't got what you trying to protect what you're trying to do i mean what you mean can i trade uh you said that like i could trade finances i mean like ownerships and things like that. What do you I'm mean? talking about making some money grow in a in an amount of time. Right. You got to be aggressive. You got to put. Depending on your where you what age you are, how much money you need, what your financial independence number is. You got to it'll tell you how much money you got to put away every month. Mm. So if you need a quarter million to retire so you can have three thousand dollars coming in every month we got to figure out how to get you to that number okay so retirement is retirement um i know it's really basically what you want but is is it financial freedom or is it money to 
play with and leave to the family retirement retirement yeah. is what you need to live off of after you're you're no longer wanting to or willing to i mean wanting to or able to work okay that's what you want to be at. you can't work anymore you need this certain amount of money coming in every month to maintain your lifestyle how much mm. is that okay so the other things i'm asking can help with life insurance yeah because life insurance is going to protect what you don't have that's mm. a, way, a way to build wealth by protecting your what you currently don't have in the bank to pay for what you wanted to pay for okay are there different kinds of life insurances i know there's kinds that um you could just invest in and wait till you fall off but aren't there life insurances that you could pull from while you're alive yes those are called cash value policies oh, okay. i don't i don't provide cash value policies i offer term policies because i feel like um cash value policies are less beneficial to the middle class family Hmm. Why? It's okay. not really it's not really an investment because you could take from it. Well it it well you're borrowing it. Yeah, you borrow. You have to pay it back because the cash value when you pass away goes back to the company. What what you borrow? So no, your cash value. So if you did borrow it and you didn't pay it back, it's going to be subtracted from your life insurance. Okay, yeah. So if you had one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in life insurance and you had fifty thousand in your cash value and you borrowed that, they're going to subtract more than fifty thousand from your life insurance because that goes to the company when you die. Mm. And it includes the interest as well. So it's kind of like saving money to give it to the company. <laughs> but what if you don't touch it? It still goes to the company when you die. They still get a percentage? They get it all, the cash value. Hold on, man. I'm confused. So it's two different types of policies. You got a cash value, which uh -huh. is universal life that's the one you're saying that's the one you're saying that they get some of the cash value the cash value always reverts to the company unless it's structured differently which there's a way for you to get both but you're gonna still pay more so life insurance is based off of age and health and so the younger you are the cheaper it is and the healthier you are the cheaper it is so when you get life insurance, let's say you get a whole cash value policy, you're paying in the two policies. One is the life insurance and one is the cash value, right? Mm -hmm. But the cash value for the first one to three years is going to have a zero balance. After the one to three years, your cash value will start to grow, but it's going to grow slow because there's percentage rate. Remember the interest rate rule of 72? So it's going to grow slow. Then after it starts growing, you can borrow it. Very similar to a secure credit card because you're putting money into it, but then you can borrow it. But when you pass away, that cash value, whatever it is, reverts back to the company. The family gets the life insurance. And that's if they did borrow it and didn't pay it back. So you gotta pay it back, or they can track still seem like wrong. It. It's all. This <laughs> <laughs> something still seem unfair. It well, yeah, they do it to make money. Okay, so all right, so let's go with the term one. I, you know, what I'm saying. So the term oh. one goes like, I was talking to the uh, a life insurance agent and. Mm -hmm. 
she was telling me I could pay a certain amount for a certain amount. Let's just say I'm paying 35 a month for a hundred thousand. But there's a renewal on that after two years. I have to start over or something like that. It's it's a term of like how long it is. Yes. And there's never two years, but I don't mean like that. I'm just putting a year, some years on it. <laughs> okay, so it's um uh yeah, it could be a term policy. So let's say it's ten year term. Policy. Okay, ten. So let's say you do a ten year term policy. After that ten years, you can do a renewal, which they're gonna look at your age, and not our company is gonna look at your health, but they're gonna look at your age and so say how much that policy should cost you at that age. But that's we that's term insurance being term, we say buy your wealth while you build it. So if you buy term and invest the difference into an outside entity where you would have been investing in that cash value, but you're going to have a higher rate of return on your investment. Hmm. Where you put your money matter. <laughs> right, right, right. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to see. I'm going to have to see what you got for me. So what can someone start with? What amount of money? Like if they wanted to invest something, a thousand, well, a couple hundred. With that, some companies you need a two, at least two hundred and fifty thousand. But what else you just start with twenty five dollars? And we start with hoping helping you get an emergency fund first, because most people, especially in our community, don't have an emergency fund. You thought life insurance was for funeral purposes? A lot of people do. A lot of people yeah. do. That's why they have a lower price of the insurance. So it could just cover that. But you can have the insurance where it can put some money in the people pocket because you're worth something when you well, die. There's, yeah, but then if you have anybody depending on your we call it income replacement if you have anybody depending on your income right now and it's supporting them if you pass away today they still need that income mm. so life insurance is supposed to be a buy your wealth while you build it so you're gonna have you I, I got into financial service industry looking for life insurance for my grandson. But when I got on the, the Zoom call, she said, didn't you just buy a house? I said, I did. And she said, well, don't you think you need to protect it? I said, yeah, I do. Because if I do die today, I don't want it to go back to the bank. But if I don't have enough life insurance to pay the house off, that's exactly what it's for. So mm. that was my first financial lesson and i was like oh <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the goal because it's, i i didn't have the education um about it either prior to getting in the financial service industry so that's the goal is to educate as many people as we possibly can on the, the facts and they can make an informed decision on what they want to do. Right. Because they're going right. to sell you a whole life policy and say, you can borrow from it. You can use it for living benefit. But it's a cost to that. And not having the information, the full information on using that living benefit while you're alive. Right. So I've come across people who borrow from it and ended up with no life insurance. No, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> I mean, even if it's a better way, why not take advantage of it? If you right. Put your money somewhere else where it's going to grow faster. And, you know. 
Right. Well, you don't borrow money off of it, but it's going to go back to the company when you pass away. Unfortunately. Right. So, um, that's some good information, man. I'm telling you. Oh, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked because I'm thinking at the same time, um, I, I need me a mutual fund and everything else probably by next month. I need a new one. I got an investment and thing going right now, but I need something that's going to, I need a mutual fund too. I got something mm-hmm. in one sole company yeah. and it go up. You know what I mean? I picked a good one, but I want something in something safe like that too. Mm-hmm. I need a couple of them. Yeah. No. Yep. yep. So um let's just say we dealt with you and your um real estate thing. You helped me get the house, right? Mm-hmm. And then you told me I could help you do some other things. Yeah. So what kind of come along with dealing with you? So when you come with me, you're going to need a um, homeowner's insurance. I'll connect you with that resource. You may also be interested in the home security system. Connect you with that as well. Again, you're going to want to protect it. <laughs> so make mm-hmm. sure you have that, the financial understanding on how to do that. And also, you're going to want to have an emergency fund just in case something goes wrong. <laughs> so where that come in at? How we get that? We go, uh, we're gonna do a financial needs analysis. I don't want you all in my accounts and stuff, man. You ain't gotta do all of that. You ain't gotta do all of that. <laughs> I got pe- I got people. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> now I'm just bugging. I'm just messing with you. Because if I no, deal seriously. with you, I got, I got. We it's a team. We're, our office is located on West Ridge Road, right next to that lobster. Oh, okay. So I could leave you and eat some. That's where my state farm is. Right in that area. Mm-hmm. In the building that got the little side thing. That's where our office is, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, because we all should have more than just an investment or a 401k or something like that. Especially if you want to enjoy life after you sit down. Because when I'm done working, I don't want to sit still no more. I need a planner. Because I uh, I need me another home out of state, down south somewhere. And mm-hmm. I got to see how to make this stuff work. I need a plan. Yeah, that's what that people don't plan to fail. They fail to plan. Right. And a lot of times they don't have a proper tool to put a plan in place. When you get sick, you go to the doctor, right? That's a professional. We don't go to professionals about our money. And that's something we got to change. Mm-hmm. That's what we need. I need I need a professional. I ain't never want to trust nobody. So it's hard for me to, to sit there and listen to somebody. Because, you know, I, I, everybody got a scheme. Or a scam. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard to trust somebody when you're talking about your own finances because we know people got to get paid to talk to you and do what they do. It's so in that us. thought, a, you got to think of how much they going to get paid. Why are you worried about how much they get paid? I mean, how? Because we got to pay it. Not necessarily. What you mean? Not necessarily. Because Ain't nobody going to sit in no office and just give out no free advice and make somebody rich and just say, all right, you know, you was a good customer, what, man. We get paid off of services and referrals. We mm. provide you a So we get paid. You get a life insurance policy, I get out paid off of you paying your policy. Not from you. But you getting a life insurance policy. So who winning? <laughs> Both of us. 
<laughs> who really winning? You get two hundred k, three hundred thousand, four thousands of dollars to leave your family with up God forbid something happen. Most people okay, put it like this. I think I look at it more like a travel agent. Like I gotta pay you for your services out of pocket. So the travel agent is doing like searching and trying to find you the best rate. That's what you do. <laughs> or you already have the rate. I feel like I got the best rate. Mm -hmm. oh. I you give sure? you a quote. I let you go go get another quote and we'll see who quote better. Mm. I think I could beat your rate. <laughs> Just me. I could beat your rate. Y'all bring y'all money to me. <laughs> you need I got a license. You gotta <laughs> pay for the license first. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Remember they the lottery didn't start on TV. It started at no. the house with the numbers running. Down so me to run. Me bring me the money. <laughs> I got y'all before y'all die. I got you. You need a state license, sir. <laughs> Come to me. <laughs> Tell y'all family who I am. I got you. I'm going to lay that's it down it for y'all. That's how it was back in the day, for real. <laughs> <laughs> they come knock at your door and say, listen, I got this policy for you. I'm coming to collect for your policy. <laughs> right. Back in the day, they only would let us get whole life. Hmm. Why? Black us, us meaning. Right. The only kid, yeah. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Listen, right. If anybody in there got some questions, I can run them to her because she done answer these questions so quick. And <laughs> I can understand what she do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? But okay, if I say yo, how do you put me on to the right mutual fund? Which was this is case by case. It okay. depends on what you're looking to do. I got some change I want to start with. I want to see. I got something. I got something. You, yeah, you want if you want to try is it long time, short time? I want long term. All that matters. I want long term. Cause I want it to grow. See, my homeboy, right? For instance, he got stock in Nike, right? Mm -hmm. Once he had a hundred shares, he get a monthly kickback plus he don't pay for night no more because mm -hmm. he's another level of owner mm -hmm. in the company and yeah. what happened was once the company split his split was doubling in his mm -hmm. as in as in his stock so he got there quick and it's like he get a couple hundred back every month just off the game. And I want to get to that level. We got to start somewhere. <laughs> right. I want to get to that level. So I I got some in a, in a company. It's going good. It's growing. But I need a mutual fund with the hundred strings. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? Instead of this one that I got to go with, up and down with when these guys have a bad time, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah. Both of those my passion, real estate and the financial service industry. I love both, doing both. Okay. So... Okay, we could we could we could go back to real estate. I need a double. 
And should I wait to the next president? <laughs> what you waiting for? Because I know the stock market gonna fix again. Mm -hmm. Because under the under the last president, the stock market had hit its highest, and everything was nice and affordable, and everything went down. A lot of things revolve around timing and who's in office. That's true. So I call it procrastination expensive. It is. Where the money is going to either be spent in price or interest. Uh -huh. So the interest rate may go down. But the prices are not. They're going to go up. You sure? Do I, so do you get so when the price go up, it don't come back. You, you think that because the interest rate going down, people think they can start listing their houses for less than what they have because now the market is where it is right so just like your property tax say your house is more va of value uh -huh. so you're not going to put it on the market for more value right so the prices are going to stay oh we're going to say i ain't going back <laughs> <laughs> that's all so i'm just i'm understanding that how you're saying it so where it's at right now and let's just say everything go back to the good normal. So like the it's, interest rate. Because you know? right now the interest rate is up high. Like very high. Just, right before the pandemic, it was about 3 4%. And now right. It's like you could get it for one and a half. Right. So the now interest rate may, eight to may 12. go down. Right. But if it goes down, are the people that now houses that are Increase in value is going to lower what they list their houses for. Probably not, right? Because you, you, like your house could increase in value and you haven't done any repairs, anything to it. But you could throw it on the market and get market value for it. Mm. But is that going to change? Is that part going to change? Oh. Okay. So it ain't going down. <laughs> Just the interest rate. <laughs> right. That sucks for people. I tell yeah. you, man. That sucks I got for people. I bought my house right before the pandemic. Mm. And the price went up, huh? Right after, yeah. <laughs> That was a good investment, huh? <laughs> it's time right to do a, a up. Not yeah. a double up, but a, a good up, huh? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you can now take the higher equity in your house and do something with that. Take that and use that as an investment. I, I got to Google my house. I'm going to see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't look at it in a minute. I, I gotta Google my house to see what happened, man. So I could be a little happier. You know? Well, you contact your bank, see how much equity you got in there. Pull it out and use it as an investment for an investment property. Mm. I'm going to see. Yep. I was just talking to them in the office. But I was talking about a loan. I'm going to see. Mm -hmm. That's a good thought. I'm going to write that down. Y'all see that? We got somebody that's helping. We getting some free advice right now. <laughs> if y'all already own your house and y'all didn't think about it for the last four years, go to the bank and talk to them and see how much equity you have on it. Because mm -hmm. I want to see. 
So you could go in there and be like, yo, how much equity? And they're going to tell you a number. Mm-hmm. And you could say, let me get that. Yeah. Mm. All right. And put it where? Use, a lot of people use it for repairs. They take it and they use it for investment property. It depends on what you say. I would say use it for something that's going to make money. Right. I'm hyped. I can't wait till tomorrow when I call the <laughs> bank. <laughs> I done been in that bank so many times in the last month and a half to get a loan for that new car. And I never asked about it. I could have just said, yo, let me let me see how much equity I got. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't. I could use that. Like I said, I could use that to better life situations. Yeah. Ah. <clears throat> yeah, I knew it was a reason you thing. needed to come on here. I knew it was a reason you needed to come on here, man. I swear. <laughs> Listen, y'all, she done caught us some money. All y'all that got home, she done caught us some money, man. <laughs> so, okay, boom. Let's just oh, say yeah, I got home. Those... Grant. Did, you call, did you call that guy for the home buy grant, too? I mean, the weatherization grant? Uh-uh. You need, you got to put us on. Put us on. If you're a homeowner in Rochester, they have a weatherization grant. Um, that they'll come and do an assessment of your house and see what you could qualify for. Some some zip codes automatically qualify. Mm. Mm Hmm. Um. Hold on. Let me see if I could do it. Okay, I can do it. Do he got a number? Okay. His number is uh, his number is hold on. Somebody just text me so we finna get y'all right. This Rochester Syracuse and Buffalo. All right. Five eight five two four five one three nine. Two four five? Yep. One three nine seven. All right. Let me see. What's his name? His name is Sully. That's all he wants. That name, Sully. That's all. Yeah, that's all I got. All right. What is it here? Mm-hmm. You say here, Buffalo and Syracuse? Yep. Boom. In the comment for y'all. Call Sully. <laughs> Call Sully. I'm getting, I'm getting fancy on y'all. I'm throwing comments out there now for y'all. <laughs> I didn't do that before. Throwing Learning comments. and growing. Learning and growing. Yeah. But yeah, I need some stuff. I need some stuff. I need a couple 
some a little, some money move to a mutual fund. Okay, do I have to? What's the term? Do I have to invest in it if I do um, long term? Is it a? It's still a mutual fund, but it's different different ways you could do it. So we get you have to you can't. I can't tell you specifically. You can't specific. tell me specifically. No, not without sitting down and going creating a plan. Remember a plan? <laughs> no, I'm talking a quick plan. I need too much information to do that. You need to come up with your financial independence number. <laughs> you see that question? I don't think so. Well, you have to live in it right now, but I don't okay, think you, you got to live in it. I don't think you have to stay in it. What's up, girl? How you been? Ah, <laughs> uh, hey, girl. How you been? <laughs> mm hmm. See, you know a lot of people, and you helping us at the same time. And we've been informed, and I'm so happy, you know. My goal is that, so I was my first critical client. My retirement account looked crazy. I was going to be working till I die. And I had a life insurance policy I had been paying into for 13 years. It was a small one, of course, through work, because we're not educated on what we need. And so... The cash value was two thousand mm. dollars. <laughs> so I talk it's a um learning process for myself and I feel like I wanna share it with anybody who's willing to listen and wanna make some changes like and I fired my job too, so I know that's right. You did the fire. <laughs> I fired them. They fired me before, but <laughs> they had to give me my job back and now I fired them. <laughs> right. So I got your name on here. What's your number to get to you so you can help some people? 585 465 6024. I prefer to receive a text message first because I may be on an interview. Because I also look for people to train to do the same thing. Uh oh. Yeah. I might have to come in that training. <laughs> because it's like the more you know about it, the more you can take advantage of it. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's always good to know and learn, you know? I feel like the best way to make money right now is while learning how it actually works. No. To make money, learn how money moves and how it works. What the people with money do with money. Okay. What was the most valuable lesson you learned out of all of it? Wait, wait. First, before the finances, what was the best part? What was the secret you learned about real estate that you didn't know walking into it? Before you went to school, you didn't know what you learned. There are multiple avenues of real estate you can go in. And, you, and when you want to get into real estate, um, you have to make it determine which avenue you want to go in and then figure out the proper way to get involved in real estate. Okay. Because you don't need a real estate license to be a real estate investor or a wholesaler or a landlord. So why do these people be putting these signs up that say, call us, we'll buy your property? It's like they're just trying to buy up everything. Because they are um, the middle person. So they're going to, they have Typically, they have that sounds like wholesale. So they have a cash buyer that's willing to pay for the for the purchase of the house, but they have their price fixed into the sale for for the price of the house. 
they have their price. So they just the meet the middle person bringing those to that contract together. Mm-hmm. And they just, so they find the person that want to sell a house and find a cash buyer. And in the middle, they charge. Yeah. And they they add their piece on. Right. And they don't have a license. They don't, they're not using their own money. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Good. I learned that too now. Because a friend of mine told me they was down there at the auction place, right? Where they be in down at the city. And mm-hmm. them and a couple guys, a couple black guys, was going to buy some properties and things like this. And there was this Italian guy, two of them, that was in there at the same time. Mm-hmm. And they had long after, they looked, after they looked at what they wanted and everything, the the Italian guys almost bought everything. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't as easy as you going down there and just buying something you saw. You done took your time to go look at it and everything. It's like it's some people that's just trying to buy up everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We got to figure a way to get around that. <laughs> Is it going to be yeah. a hand to hand to beat them to that? Like somebody um, like you, like just say I wanted to sell my house. It'll be somebody like you that could find another black person to say, listen, I know a property that you can buy before somebody well, else come in and buy no. it. No. Say that again. I said, is there a way around it? Like, let's just say we was going to help black people start owning property again. Mm -hmm. So I'm a real estate investor. I know everything that's selling. I'm I'm the person that's trying to sell the house. Let's just say I'm the seller. I'm I'm the agent. When it's as time a, for me to find buyers, a, can I find black buyers? No. Or you just got to get rid of it? You can't discriminate. Being like they, I'm saying if they don't know, you discriminate. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to get <laughs> Not it's you personally. I'm just I'm no, I'm saying I wouldn't know how a, a buyer or a seller to get well a seller to get around that because most of it is done through paper unless you know because the, right, the, right. the buyer agent will have to be like this is my buyer they black and the, you know what I mean because it's you know right because it's, it's not it's, like an application it, with a color mark on it no <laughs> you know what I'm saying which I know that the common sense kind of went out the door right then. <laughs> Legally, we can't do that either. You can right. lose our life. <laughs> right. I'm not licensed, so I could do the wholesale thing. But, like, for example, like ESNL has a first time home buyer grant geared toward Black and Latinos. So, minorities. So there's ways that you know, but there's a that's right. a that's a certain grant that they apply for to help. So you would have to be an organization that did something like that. Not there a, you go, right there, because that's what I'm gonna be, the organization to help my people. I'm gonna be the organization. Me too, man. Yep, we're gonna be the organization. For free smoke, no gas, and from upstate to you, we're gonna have a company. We're gonna be an organization. We ain't gonna be nonprofit because we're gonna profit. And we're gonna help the people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you you definitely don't wanna be not for profit because that could put too much limitation on what you could do. Oh, okay. See, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna help the people, our people. We're going to get them right. We're going to get them in some good homes. See, a lot of times when they do that with the uh, the first-time buyers and the minority and they put them in them HUD homes, 
you putting them right back in the hood, right back where they was at. Mm -hmm. And that house will be tore up in three years. <laughs> it's going to be yeah. blunt stuff all over the ground. Well, you know, those new houses, they just throwing them up. So they're paper. Not like, yeah. I learned how to, when I, I did a construction course. Yeah, I do that too. I did a construction <laughs> course. And when I was going through the course and we was putting up something, we started working on them too. And it's like, them things is like, well, I think we put them things up in like three days. We was throwing them up. And you can have a friend come help. So it ain't no care in it getting put together. It's going to be nails crooked. It's going to be all kinds of stuff. <laughs> it's going to be glass, glass under your grass that they just turned over once and threw the seeds down. You buy a her house with... Um you talk about a habitat house, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you put sweat equity to buy those houses, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wanted to go through that program first, but it nah. was like, I said, nah, man, I ain't finna be they, out here. Not only because they picked a certain area that they build in, you gotta buy yep. in that area. So that's the only reason why I didn't go that route, too. Yeah, but if that's what you, that's what you can afford. If that's, that's how you have to come in the game. If that's how you got to come in because imagine your mortgage being 500 and something dollars, you know, a month versus you paying right now. Look at the rent. That's it. I wasn't there. I would be stressed out. I used to tell people that too, before we get out of here, I used to tell people that too. They should be like, cool. You got that big old house over there and this, all of that. And I used to be, you know, I go visit people and shit. And I'd be like, yo, how much you pay a rent? I'd be like, oh. <laughs> and I used to say the same thing. I'd be like, man, won't you just check your credit? And and I used to tell them how to do it. I used to be like, yo, how long you been at your job? I say at least you I I, I done went through the program, so I could tell you the whole program just off head. Right. right. I'd be like, yo, so you've been there this amount of years and this all of that. I said, put some money aside so you can have the down payment and all that done, man. Because I was like, yo, I'm only paying five something, man. And they look at you like, what? <laughs> yeah, I was like, five something a month against you paying a thousand or something, and you will never own that place. Never. And, and when they at you, they're going to try to get you out of there. Yeah. The bank is going to be lenient. Because they want you to keep they paying. They do not want to. The bank don't want to own property. <laughs> yeah, the bank going to give you a month or two, a couple months. Because they want you to stay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'll be like, come on, man. You shouldn't be paying that much. I told every friend I had that was renting. Like, yo, you should you should, you should, should buy you something, man. Because mm -hmm. you, you'll save and, a lot of more money, man. And then buy a double. Live on one side. Right. Take you living rent free. Then the next one could be the same way. You could buy in first time home ownership. You can use all the grants that they you can merge rent together and you can buy one to four units. Julio, my boy Julio. I seen Julio come up. But Julio work on houses. Julio nice. My guy. I still need you, Julio, to come look at something. Matter of fact, <laughs> that's my guy, that. Julio, man. I'm glad Somebody you came to watch, Julio. That's dope. Yeah, Julio, nice, nice, very nice. With the with the home improvements. Yeah, you need more people like that because people out here getting burnt. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Now him, he nice. He did all his own. That's what I'm saying. He he nice. And his stuff look immaculate. You know? He an investor? Let's connect. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He might be. <laughs> but that's how he was. You know what I mean? He did it smart. You know what I mean? He bought his house. Then he bought the lot next to it. Right. 
and on from there. Or buy buy vacant lots so when the government need to use it, they gotta buy it from you. There's so many ways. That's like I one that the lesson I learned about real estate is so many ways. You could buy up people's back mortgage. They back behind on their mortgage, they pay that pay go down and pay pay their taxes, they gotta pay you the interest. Mm. I didn't see you said the school way. You should have brought that up twenty minutes ago. Wait a minute. I said it's multiple ways to get into real, real estate. <laughs> That's a whole nother part of the game I ain't know about. Yeah, you just having the money. You got a couple grand to go pay off somebody's back taxes. And when they pay them taxes, all, all that interest, the money that you put up and the interest come to you. Mm. Yeah, we definitely got to talk. <laughs> we definitely we definitely gotta talk y'all i'll put her number up there y'all see the information man y'all got somebody that's in our community that we all know that could put us on to some stuff you know and we know her yeah that's the good thing. A lot of these people come to your house with the ideas and clipboards and briefcases, and you don't know where they're going home or what they're going to do next with your information. Yeah. You know? So, yo. But that's what that's why I look for more people to join me in the financial service industry, too. So it could be your family member telling their mm. family member and the family member and just continue on domino effect in the family members. So now we've got generational wealth and multiple bridging that wealth gap that's been created. Dope, dope, dope. So what you gonna tell them, man? And at the same time, give them your information, tell them where to find you at, your YouTube, uh, your, if you had them, your Instagram, your Facebook. I know it's Mary Lawrence. You got fancy yeah. and, and took your cool name off and put Mary. <laughs> no, so my regular, I put my Facebook and my Instagram. Mary Method to Money is my Instagram. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I see it really. on there. Mary Method to Money. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, yo, make sure y'all hit her up, man. If y'all want to know some information or if y'all came in late, you know, Mary Lawrence on facebook mary method the money on instagram you know give us one more man that was a good one give us one more to leave with man Just what you want one more <laughs> off the head okay give us something like I that said, you... where you put your money matters it's important, <laughs> That's important. Where, where you put it is very important <laughs> you I, don't want to be lying on social security that may not be there when, when some right. of us get, get to that state. So where you put the money matters in life insurance, investments, budgeting, all of that matters. Where are you going to put it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, all right, man. We'll see y'all all next week, man. You know, next week. If uh, I ask you to share my flyer, please do. <laughs> all right. Most definitely. I I share it tonight to get the lead on it. You know what I'm saying? All right. So make sure y'all come through, man. Next week, we got Willie Lightfoot. After that, we got Howard Eagle. Listen, man. Listen, man. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're getting a lot of education around here. I love my people. You're welcome. I told y'all. I love my people, man. I do this for y'all. I came on here. Let me tell y'all something, man, Why she's sitting here. I came on here, man. I could have been lollygagging. I could have did the rumor reports on stars and the, the stuff you see on YouTube and all the garbage, hating on people. I could have did a lot of stuff and just got views and views and views, the trends, the rumors, everybody that's going to jail for stuff that they done did to people and all kind of <laughs> stuff i could do all that but i chose to come deal with my people man 
if there's some information that we all need, especially y'all know this election year. So we've been going over that. And then, you know, we had her come in to let y'all know where to get the money, get the money, sit down, retire. We getting older, get some investment, some life insurance. She right here. We got somebody, you know what I'm saying? So on that note, man, we're going to say peace and thank you for coming by, man, giving us that information, man. You're welcome. Anytime. Looking forward to it. All right. We're going to hit you up and hold you on that, though. All right, y'all. <laughs> peace. <laughs>